Hey, what's up you guys? Superboy Reviews here, and today we're going to be looking at Marvel's Morph. So, this is not the morph that I am familiar with. The morph I'm familiar with is the morph from the X-Men Animated Series. So, as we all know, he is a character that, sadly, we think passes away in the first episode. And we later find out that he's still alive. And he has some abandonment issues. So, I'm not sure if this is a different character. But if it is, he looks kind of cool. And, oddly enough, he doesn't have his own entry in the Marvel Encyclopedia. So, they should get on that. Alright. So, here we have Morph from Age of Apocalypse in all of his uh, very cartoonish glory. Very, very cartoonish. From what I understand, I think he is still a shapeshifter. So, uh, a natural mimic, Kevin Sidney, transforms himself into any shape at will. Kevin Sidney. I don't remember if that's the name of Morph in the animated series. And if you couldn't tell, I'm filming these back-to-back, -back, guys. So, here's the, the whole wave here. And I just love this art. Alright. So, let's crack it open. Little treat here. I was looking at all the uh, X-Men entries in here, and I thought maybe there might be an Age of Apocalypse entry in here. And there's not one of those either, so I don't know if they're trying to cover up that part in X-Men's history or something. But, this, this, this encyclopedia is a little lacking. We'll see. Alright, so here's the figure here. And here's the other little baby leg for Sugar Man. And let's get him out of here. This cape is a little stuck here. Take that off the back end. All right, so here's Morph. I guess with this body, you could probably make an animated series Morph. You could steal a jacket off of that Cyclops, or even off an old old man Logan. Build a pretty cool Morph. Sculpt him some hair. All right. So here, uh, so his cape ports into his back here. And it sits, sits okay. So, you can tell he's part of, uh, part of, uh, Magneto's X-Men. Because he has the, uh, Magneto collar, like all of the other ones of, uh, Age of Apocalypse X-Men. And here, I don't recognize this body. Unless it's, let me see. It might be the... It might be Spider-Man 2099, to be honest. But, looks like we have some new gloves. These look like new gloves. If not, let me know. They could be like a Hydra agent or something. I don't know. But yeah. So I want to just zoom in on his smirk here. I think I got a pretty cool one. I've seen some in stores on the shelf that um, didn't come out too good. The, the line work was a little off and it's a little bit, it's pretty important on a really cartoony figure like this. I just like the expression he has. So definitely I have to read Age of Apocalypse to see what kind of character he is. He maybe he's like some kind of Deadpool-esque character. But alright. Let's see how he scales with Wild Child here. So, I think it's Wild Child's hair, but, or the way his head sits, but he's a little bit shorter than Wild Child. And of course, as he should be, he's taller than Logan. And uh, I think Logan was the most hurt when we lost Morph in the, in the series. 
because that was his um that was his, one of his only friends one of the only ones who laughed at his uh at his jokes dark dark humor only one who could make Logan laugh yeah guys so I'd say this isn't a must get he's a very obscure character if it was the representation from the animated series I'd say he'd be a must get cuz man that that to just to complete the team from the Saturday morning cartoon that'd be so awesome he's a new character though so if you are into X-Men and collecting X-Men and Age of Apocalypse I'd say that you would want to get this guy he's pretty cool his line works very clean let me see there's none on the back, but I'm not sure if there should be any on the back. I, like I said, I'm not too familiar with his suit or his costume. But I'm glad I picked this guy up. He's pretty cool. He has a nice flowing cape, flowing to one side a little bit. Still hangs pretty, pretty straight. So he looks good on the shelf. So yeah, guys. If I was going to rank this figure out of 10... I'd give him about a five, but that might just be from character design. He's a little bit simple, but he's pretty cool still. He's cool in a simple way. That's Morph, guys. Yeah. All right, guys, so the last figure in our wave is going to be Dark Beast. Stay tuned for all your Geek and Collector content. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Make sure you see the rest of the wave, guys. Thanks. Bye.